Duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at a plugin, again by the one and only, the man, the myth, legend, Exceldra, we're absolute hero of a guy. This time, his plugin is going to be managing media sources within OBS, so managing to pause, play, stop, fast forward, rewind, do whatever you want, it's so simple to use. Before we get into it, make sure you do like the video and also subscribe. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below, or come and visit me on Twitch. I stream most days, twitch.tv slash andylippy, alright? Put your rock for the stone, let's go! So just before we get into this, just like every other plugin, we need to get it installed, okay? Super simple to do, I'm going to take you through now. Go to OBS plugin website, we're looking at the media controls plugin. This is in the description down below, okay guys? Make sure you do get registered, log in, also leave Exceldra a review on all of his plugins because they're incredible, man. Like, drop 5 star rating, you know, he's a legend. Also, if you need any help, send him a message, he might be able to make something for you. Who knows? Right, so we're just going to download it on here. We've got all the different versions, we've got Win64, Win32, Linux and Mac, I'm going to use Windows 64. Once that's downloaded, you can get that installed by opening it. These two folders just here, we're going to copy them and go to the C drive. And then the OBS folder is usually in Program Files or Program Files 86. Mine's in Program Files. And you're looking for OBS-Studio, all lowercase. Go into there, right-click and paste. Mine's going to ask me to replace the files. This is how you would update the plugin if there's any other updates in the future. But I'm not going to do that now since I'm recording this video. Just press yes to everything. Administration privileges, all that jazz. Get it installed. Make sure you restart OBS as well. So now we're in OBS. We need to add a source. So go to the plus sign and you will see a media source. We're going to add a media source just here. I'm going to call it media source. I need to find a file. So on here, I'm just going to go into some of my intro videos that Steven has made me because he's an absolute legend. In fact, I'm going to use this one. Uh, we, you know how to use a media source. All the uh, info is there. We're just going to press OK for now. And you'll see I've got a media source. Yep, that's exactly what we need. And as you can see, I can't pause it or anything like that. Okay, can't pause it. I can turn it on and off just like that. But I can't do anything else. But now we've got this plugin installed. If we go up to view, go to docs, you'll see media controls. Press that open. It will open up in the middle of the screen like this. Just drag it down to wherever you'd like it. So I usually leave mine in there. And you can see now, if I turn this on, you can see the skippable bar just here. Press pause. Press play again. Press stop. Takes it back to the beginning. Press play. And I can also skip through the video like so. If I right click, you can actually see different settings just here. If I turn all these off and explain, you've got time show uh, decimals so you can get more in depth look at how far along that video is uh, by using the decimal point. And also, show time remaining will change because that's the total uh, video uh, size in length. We change that, it'll say how long is actually left on that video. It can be very handy for mixing videos together, etc. And if we press show all media sources, and this will actually show every media source that you've got available in OBS. So I'm going to leave that turned off for now and add another media source. So if I go to media source, I'm just going to leave it media source 2 and leave it blank for now. You can see media source 2 is there. But if I create another scene and add another source, media source 3, you can see I can only see media source 3 because this is the scene we're on. Just there. You see I swap in between the two scenes, but if I right click and press show all, it will show me all across the whole of OBS, just there. Super simple to use. There are other things that you can use because you'll see these um, previous and next buttons as well. So uh, you're probably thinking, oh, you've not really touched on them. I'm just going to remove these media sources for now. I'm going to add my own VLC source. So you press the plus and go to VLC video source. If you can't see that, it means you need to get VLC installed, which you can find just at this link here. I'll leave the link in the description below. Press the down arrow and the 64-bit. You do need to install the 64-bit, otherwise OBS will not register that you've got it installed, okay? So make sure you restart OBS after you've installed VLC player. Just make sure you just do the standard installation, no funny business, anything like that. 
press plus on sources, go to VLC video source. And the VLC video source is awesome because it means you can create a playlist of videos. If I wanted to add a single file, add a directory or a URL, I'm going to add files for now and add the intro. I only want two of these videos. In fact, I'll go three. I'm going to go intro, alien isolation as well, and the starting soon screen. There are other features in here as well. Just have a fiddle about with that, about looping the playlist, shuffling, and visibility as well. It's all pretty standard self-explanatory stuff. Press OK. And now you'll see the VLC video source just here is playing. I can pause it. I can press play. But I can press next and it'll go to the next video that's in that playlist. Press next again. It'll go to that next video as well. Same with previous. And I can still skip through. So it's quite a handy little tool to be able to manage multiple media sources. If you like me and use a lot of videos within your stream, I mean, a big shout out to Steven for, for making all my intros for me. But it's so easy to be able to manage them videos and you don't have to have so many different scenes with different sources because you can just be like, next, play this video, play that video. Super simple to do. Make sure you do like the video if I've helped you out. If you've got any questions, drop it down in the comments below or come and visit me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash andylippy. Streaming most days and also subscribe, okay guys? Because I've got so many more features and things to show you on OBS and streaming related, all right? Please rock with the stone. See you in the next one.